All right, Scott, thank you. Now, since Friday, crews have been working hard to restore electricity. They have made a lot of progress, but they still have a long way to go. And as of 6 a.m., just a few minutes ago, 13,000 Arkansas customers are still in the dark. Now, that's according to this map from poweroutage.us. We're seeing about 10,000 of those outages in Pulaski County, 2,400 in Wynn over in Cross County. And to give you some perspective, Entergy Arkansas tells us that about 56,000 customers statewide were without power in the immediate minutes and hours after the storm. Now at the peak of the storm, Entergy Arkansas says 56,000 were without power. And those crews, as you've seen, have been working all weekend long from Arkansas, from out of state, cutting that number significantly. Let's go live now to Lily Cummings, who joins us. She's in Midtown off Reservoir Road. Lily, how does it look around you? Still dark from where we're seeing. Yeah, Karen, going over Reservoir Road this morning, it was quite startling to cross over a hill and just see nothing but pitch black. I'm going to step out of the way so our photojournalist Rick Neese Riggins can show you all what we're looking at. So the street we're on has power. You can see the street light there is fully on, operational, all things good. But then when you go a little bit further out, it is so dark, pitch black right there, just a few streets over. Now you can also see off into the distance, there's hospitals, there's other things lit up. Obviously not all of Little Rock without power this morning, but several thousand people waking up in the dark again this morning. So Entergy Arkansas says to keep a few important things in mind. Crews started restoring power to critical places first, hospitals, grocery stores, gas stations, and things of that nature. And as they work to get the lights back on in homes, they are thanking everyone for their patience. Entergy says it could be a few more days before power is fully restored. Unfortunately, they're expecting incoming weather to impact restoration efforts. It's all hands on deck with Entergy anytime there's a storm. This one, of course, because it was in such a heavily populated area, has required additional resources and we have gotten those and we are working just as quickly as we can. We appreciate all of our customers have been great. They've showed a lot of patience, a lot of goodwill, and we hope that we can continue to ask for that in the next few days. Now, Entergy is also asking folks to avoid those hard hit areas because they are trying to get their trucks in and get the, this all restored, of course. And they're also asking that on behalf of first responders because they are also critical to all of this needing to get into those areas. They also warn folks there are still a lot of down power lines. Reporting live, Lily Cummings, THV 11 News. All right, Lily, thank you so much for that update.